And turning to Northwest News, one of Seattle's newest residents is already familiar with rush hour traffic. The fire department says a baby was born on the front seat of a Lexus about 8.15 a.m. this morning when dad realized he wouldn't make it through downtown traffic in time to reach Swedish Medical Center. He pulled over and called 911. The fire department spokesman Kyle Moore told the Seattle PI an off-duty nurse saw what was happening and helped the mother. The baby boy was born by the time medics arrived. Moore said mom and baby are healthy. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service plans to start dispatching hunters into Northwest Forest this fall to start a last-ditch effort to save the threatened northern spotted owl from extinction. The agency released a final environmental review today of an experiment to see if killing more than 3,000 barred owls in four study areas in Oregon, Washington, and Northern California will help the spotted owl recovery. Final approval is due in a month. If it works, and there are other studies indicating it will, a regular program to reduce barred owl populations would be considered. Barred owls are a bigger, more aggressive cousin of the spotted owl. They're less picky about food and forests, and they threaten the spotted owl's survival. For a rancher in Roy, a new calf was the result of a lot of hard work. After years of breeding, he now has a panda cow. John Bartheld has been breeding miniature cows on his farm for seven years, hoping to recreate black and white markings in the pattern of a panda to make a panda cow. He succeeded on June 28th when Peanut was born. From most angles, Peanut looks like the endangered Chinese bear with a big pelt of white fur, a white face, and black hair around the eyes. From the minute I saw him, I knew he was something special, and uh, I think that Peanut knew he was a superstar. Um, he's been just a great little addition to this herd. Bartheld runs nine cattle and five are registered miniatures. Two, Peanut and Star, are registered with the International Miniature Cow Breeders Society, which is a division of Happy Mountain Farm in Covington. The four other cattle are full-size cows sold as beef. The miniatures are a pet or novelty unless they grow too big. Barthel grew up around his grandparents' dairy and the farm, now 11 acres, has been in the family for four generations. He has a full-time job with a concrete company in Tacoma. A miniature cow has to be under 42 inches tall as a three-year-old. A panda cow has to have the bear-like markings, mostly the white belt around the midsection. Peanut has been getting a lot of attention since a few stories hit the internet. Panda calves are really rare. There's like, oh, 30 in the world known. Uh, last one was in 2011, uh, born in Colorado that I know of. Sold, I heard, for around $30,000. Barthel plans to sell Peanut, but he can't guess what he's worth. He is just the perfect specimen. They, they don't get much perfecter than him. For i Fiber one News, this is Spencer Graham reporting with the Associated Press. Thanks, Spencer. Still no word on when the panda cow will start his kung fu training. That's going to do it for us here at i Fiber one News. We want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow night.